What's going on, guys? Balzer's Reaction Pit. Hey, are we, are we recording? We are recording. Are you sure? Now, check this out. I'm just going to tell you something would happen. We started recording the same video. We got like 30 seconds in and realized something wasn't right. The fans were moving pretty quick. <laughs> and she started singing, and it sounded like really weird. Yeah. And realized we had the speed. We had the speed messed up. Um, speed was too fast. and Because we do now that. It's, now here. it's normal. Yeah, we do that with goofy metal songs and stuff where if the if the song sucks, we speed it up to see if it's going to so sound funny. we're going to be honest. We know what happens in the first 30 seconds. Yeah, they march up to the stage. And so, then I, make, I made the dumb comment, like, they should be careful because they're wearing <laughs> sunglasses in a dark-ass theater. Going upstairs. Going upstairs, correct. So, all right, let's check this out. Going in fresh, not super fast. Make sure that speed's on normal. God. That... Make sure I actually clicked it on properly. Normal. normal. All right. It was at 120. All right. Fucking 480p quality. This has got to be an old video. Is there a better quality that we can do? Probably not. What year is this from? Oh, uh, 480. It was already at 480. All right. Let's do this. That lady's not looking. She's like, where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's just watching the monitor. Oh. <laughs> this is where we stopped, like, right when she starts singing. Who was she? Who did she give that dirty look to? Was it just some random guy? Like, um, if I was a boy, I'd be better than you. No, her, hus <laughs> her husband's sitting in the crowd. Oh, dude, what if that was? She's staring right at him. Don't even get me started on that fucking clown. What was that guy thinking? Okay, all right, I'm not gonna get into that. Anyway, um, just like, I mean, we heard like the because remember when it was fast, it was like. Ah! <laughs> It's like so really weird. Like, Wait yeah, a minute. Yeah. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> First, he's coming up the stairs. It's like boom, boom, boom. You got a fucking beatbox up in there. Remember that? No. You never saw that before? No. No. And he goes, uh, never mind. It's that it's that one dude with the interview. <laughs> the talking? interview. You saw it before, right? The movie, the interview. No, that like, where they go funny, to North Korea. No, funny like news interviews, and it's like one guy, and he's like. And he's in the... I don't know what you're talking about, man. Forget it. <sighs> Forget, Forget it. it. <laughs> Whatever. Forget it. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> this no. is a everybody's, fucked up night. This is a fucked up Everybody's looking at us like, what? The record scratch. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Oh, shit. All right. I got to put these on. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. All right. So, wow. Anyway. The Voice. No, this is the Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. No, but I mean, like, I hear what people are saying now because everybody wanted us to do a live. Oh, you hear it, but we only heard about, we only heard about ten seconds of it. All she said was, "If I were a boy, how about we?" But the way let, she let's said have it, her show I, us right. what she can do. Soul, full voice. How come we... Why didn't we start with a, well, a song like this? Because the other ones were recommended. 
No one said do a live. That's true. Just we didn't start getting the live recommendations until until we did um, anything until we did. Uh, uh, don't hurt. No, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, that's when it started. Because we did. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Some people are questioning why the hell are we doing hold up? But that was a recommendation. It was recommenda- yeah, recommended. Yeah, um, <laughs> recommended. Recommended. <laughs> and it, a lot of uh, recommendations came off that. But then we did Halo. A lot of recommendations came off that, so we're kind of going off of. Yeah, we are depending on you. So I to recommend this stuff to us. So we were following the path that was uh, set forth in front of us. Like for example, um, this one was recommended a lot. I care was recommended a lot. I'm gonna do I care right after this, just because I'm curious. Is it the one at the Stevie Wonder tribute? No, it's live at Roseland. That's the one that's been... Before we started recording this, we were arguing, actually a lot, and I was looking through all the recommendations, and we were trying to figure out which one had the most. You said something about taking a poll. Like, yes. were you going to do that on Facebook? or How are you going to do, do that? I'll do it right on, uh, right on uh, YouTube, right on our page. Go to um, It'll pop up. You guys will see it. I'm going to post... I'm going to try to scan the comment section for the most popular... Uh, recommendations. I'm not saying I won't do the other ones, but I just want to do the ones that everybody wants to see first. See, but now the hard thing f- to say is that had I heard this first, like where she's singing, it may have completely changed my perception of the the first two that we did, you know, Don't Hurt, Don't Hurt Yourself and mm-hmm. Hold Up, because she didn't really sing that much in those. It was more of a story, more of a... I may have, may not have liked it as much, and I may have been like, oh, I don't know. It, it may not have um, spurred me on to to want to go further. So, because I because I would have been looking more for this, and I just would have been, eh, eh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to listen to that. So I'd have missed out on an important part of her chapter in her life. Ready. Why are, you sm- Why are you smiling at me? Shut the hell up. I'm smiling at her. Oh. <laughs> if, like, if I ever get a chance to meet her, I'd walk up to her and I'd be like, oh, hey, girl. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> Didn't I say that in another video? <laughs> she would have her, she'd have her guards come at you. I said that in another video. I, <laughs> I was listening to Ludacris last night. That's why. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey, maybe she, maybe, you know, if she wasn't married, she'd. Yeah, she dates Sporto. Oh, shit. Tell everyone it's broken so they think that I was sleeping alone. Yeah, right. I put myself first. What the hell? I'm like, wait a minute, who's that? Who's that fucking guy? <laughs> he touched her leg and she's like, <laughs> using the force, force choking him. <laughs> so what's this song about? I mean, I have an idea. She was a boy. She would treat women better than most boys do. And actually, she's saying if I were a boy. So she's saying... Not like that's like is that disrespecting him saying like if I was a boy, that's how you treat a woman. But 
she would make a better man. So if, if I was a boy, she would make a better man, you know? Yeah. So she would do it better than them. Like, they're, they're not getting it right. They're not treating her right. They don't know how to treat women. So yeah. that's what so she's, she's saying. So she's just saying that if she were a man, boy, or whatever if she was say. male, yeah. Yeah, she'd if she be, was male. She would treat a woman better. And, yeah, well, makes sense. So, so that's, I, that's, 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 part of her theme i think so a lot of people in the comment section were saying like she knew she had a suspicion that stuff was going on like before with jay-z so so is the song about him no, in a maybe weird way not necessarily but maybe it's like an observation before that ever happened maybe it was like inspired by the way she was being treated mm-hmm. or maybe she was treated like that in a different relationship maybe prior to that or something yeah maybe it's she gets screwed over all through her dating life. I don't know. Fucking why? Fucking jokers, man. Seriously. What would you do that for? That's just stupid. <laughs> That's just... That's just stupid. If you're with dumb. her, no. You don't do that. Yeah. You don't they're, do they're that. They're a dumb head. Yeah. <laughs> to put it nicely. Amazing vocals. Very soulful. Very... She, you can tell she really cares about what she's singing about. Like, it's... She writes her lyrics. No one's writing her stuff for her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a yeah. lot of singers nowadays, they write the they don't write their own lyrics. She writes her own lyrics. Maybe she does she write lyrics for other people too? That I don't know. Possibly. Good question, Sporto. Hey, thanks. Maybe somebody in the comment section will know. Has she ever written songs for anybody else? Set. What was the name of this song? Um, fuck. You Enchilada. No, fuck um, yourself hard. Um, flag. Baseball God bat. Left handed football bat. Please continue. Um, earmuffs. Um, turkey. You ought to know. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what is she trying to say? You ought to know. Cause I'm not. I I know Alanis Morissette. I've heard the song and I didn't like it. I never liked really Alanis Morissette. Like back in the '90s. Maybe it's just you because you didn't understand the lyrics. Maybe there's you know. Okay, so now we have to figure out how this part ties in with if if she was a boy. Okay. One more second. Okay, makes sense. It fits. Yes, it does. What the hell are you looking at? I don't know. We still have Alanis, Alanis Morris. Oh. I didn't even have to type the whole song. So I heard that, and I totally forgot the lyrics. So again, you know, it's like... Uh, you should know that, you know, that's how I felt when you were doing this, when you were like, it was a slap in the face how quickly I was replaced. And the mess that you left. When you went away, like when you dumped her. God. I. How, <laughs> how has Beyonce been through that? God, what are these fucking guys thinking? 
Jesus Christ, how fucking I mean, a lot, I noticed a lot of Sorry. her lyrics are all a lot about, you know, yes. how it messed her up. Yes. I mean, what happened really must have messed her up. But it's the funny thing because, like, for example, like that album right there, Suicidal Tendencies, The Art of Rebellion. Mm hmm. Very similar lyrics, just obviously played in a totally different way. Mm-hmm. A lot of their, a lot of those songs are based off of, I think, a messed up relationship. Where yeah, yeah, being cheated got, on and uh, being dumped and forgotten about, left behind, left alone. Great album, by the way. Hey, Suicidal Tendencies, Art of Rebellion. Should we make that our new challenge to people, to introduce them to another band that we like? Oh, that's a tough one to get into, um, but that is a good album. That got me through high school. Yeah. And relationships, crap like that. Um, so, not Alanis Morissette didn't get me through anything. No offense to Alanis Morissette, but I understand why it's relevant. Yeah. I never liked that, and song. I never really listened to the lyrics of that song. I've heard it, now, but honestly, I like the way Beyonce sings it better. It's, it's better cover. Her attitude seems to fit that more. Probably, it, it's just more fitting. Shall we? Yeah, please. Oh Jesus. Who the hell's that chick? Who's those guys? Who the hell's that? I don't know who any of those people were. Okay, so I had this, like, thought. Did, hold on. Before that thought. Did she say at the end, but you were ju- you were just a boy? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so she's saying that because you're a boy because you don't know how to treat a woman. So if she was a boy, she would grow up Learning the right way. To, correct, yes. And But he's just a boy. Right, and he never grew up out of that. He never learned. You. No, you. You, you got that. You got you, that. You're no, good. No, you're no, good. No. You're you good. are all over that. Okay, so. Uh, Why are you putting in more than a bird? Who sings that? The way that she was singing that kind of reminded me of that song, I'm more than a bird. I'm more than a plane. That was the worst singing in the entire fucking world. Oh my god, spoiler, you lost it. Who sings that, though? I don't know. I give up. Who? I, well, Five for Fighting. Dude. Ten years ago. No. It kind of reminded me How of that. How the hell do you know that? I don't fucking know, man. I just know some really random Superman. ass stuff. Superman. Five for Fighting. I'm more than a bird. I'm more than a plane. But you're just a boy. Kind of reminded me of that. Interesting. Mm. Never would have thought of that. Because I never listened to that. That's why you brought me on the show. Because yeah. I listen to some weird yeah. shit. All right, so I mean, you now, hopefully, that's one of the songs that you guys wanted to hear us do. Um, it was very amazingly sung, but I'm really curious now what it sounds like, the original, because it was totally the arrangement was totally different. Um, what, added song and so she didn't just do that exclusively for the Grammy. No, because did you see when I typed it in? Had the uh, music. I video. wasn't watching. No. Sorry. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Thank you for all the support, watching all the Beyonce videos that we've done. Um, hopefully, we, we got a lot of you guys hooked, subscribed, so you can check out our, all our other videos that we've done, our playlist that I made. Um, I might actually have to make a Beyonce play uh, playlist. I made a uh, Billie Eilish one. I made a rap one. I made a country one. I made a... My favorites. Anyway. And uh, uh, I like Beyonce, and I would wash and vacuum out her car for her. <laughs> <laughs>
That's very nice of you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Somebody please tell her that Sporta would totally do that for her. If... Let's go. Wow. Let's go, man.